Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Convos and Coffee. It is a good day this morning because God has wake us up and we're listening to the birds singing and all's well with the world. That's how we should think. But you know, today, not actually not today, but a few days ago, I was thinking in my mind, you know, you don't want to um, pretend that you're like thinking like everybody else, which you really are, that when is this virus is going to be over and we can get back to normal life? And I'm just really deep in thoughts and only God, only God knows what you're doing. And the Lord just gently say to me, but your ways aren't my ways. And I'm going, oh boy, he caught me red-handed again. Listen to this, Isaiah chapter 58 and verses 8. Sorry, 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways. My ways, declare, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts higher than your thoughts. How plain could it get? Yep, God called me flat out on it. He called me out. And this morning... I <laughs> declare to you that I am just like everybody else. I'm wondering when it's going to over. I'm really not complaining vocally, but really in my heart, I'm going, man, I, I wish this could be over. We could get back to church. We could see people. We could start interacting with people like we used to. But you know what? God's ways are so different from ours. I don't know why we're in this pandemic. Only God knows why, and he's going to get us out in his own good time because his ways are higher than our ways. So this morning, relax. Have a coffee or a tea like I do. And think about the goodness of God because in all of this, I don't think you have been sick. You have, been, you have gone without food. Everything is well. You have shelter. And God is still doing what God does because his ways are way, way higher than our ways. And his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. So I encourage you not to complain, not to murmur. He's going to get us out of this. And when he does, it will be even better than before. It will not be the same. It will be different because it's already different. But let's bloom where we are. That's my word. Let's always bloom where we are. It's not always the easiest place. But if you look at a rose in a bush where there is all kinds of thorns and then a rose is just blooming. The rose is just blooming where they are. So should we. So I encourage you this morning to be blessed. While you're having your coffee, Take the word of God and read it. Be encouraged because God's ways are higher than our ways and he has good things in store for us. The Lord bless you this morning. I want to encourage you, if you're a senior and you're watching Convos and Coffee, please, I would like you to remember Saturday, July 25th, this Saturday, that we're having our seniors conference online Pastor Paul Cassidy is our main speaker, and many more. Please uh, log on at 1030. You will get a link, and it will be all while well, it's on Bethel um, online platform. You cannot miss it. Please do not miss it. The Lord bless you. Please remember to sign up for church next week on Eventbrite. Don't forget that. Start coming back slowly. Because God is going to bring all things together. So remember, sign up for church. If you don't know how, give the office a call. They'll help you. But please, sign up. Last Sunday was so good. I didn't know it was going to be so good. I, 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 tears was running down my face in my mask. Uh, because I didn't realize how wonderful church really is. We take it for granted. So... 
this morning, sign up for church, come out and enjoy the service. The Lord bless you and you have a wonderful day.